In this video, we'll take a look at the pH of baking soda. So most people are familiar, you take some baking soda, mix it with vinegar, and you get that volcano effect of bubbles. So first, we'll look at using pH paper to figure out the pH, and then we'll use a pH meter. If I put the pH paper right in with the baking soda, nothing happens. We've got to mix some water in to get the reaction started. So we're putting distilled water here, and you can see right away the pH paper it changes green. That green, it tells us that the pH is 7 or greater, and that means that we have a base. If we look at the key, you can see right there, right about, looks like 8, right around 8 would be the pH for the baking soda there mixed with water. We can also use a pH meter to figure out the pH more accurately. So we mix some baking soda in with the water, then we're going to stir that up, get everything dissolved, then we'll put the pH meter in and figure out what the pH is for our baking soda. So we put the pH meter in and it reads 7.89, 7.88. Let it equilibrate a little bit. And the pH is right about what we expected between 7 and 8, closer to 8. So the pH of baking soda, according to our pH meter, right about 7.8. This is Dr. B with the pH of baking soda. It's right about 8 and that makes it a base. Thanks for watching.